Welcome back, guys. Um, doing a video today on spending money. <laughs> um, I know I've touched on a little bit of this stuff before. Um, I think if you go through the How Leasing Works video, um, there's something in there about breaking up shop bills. Uh, I think I've talked about that, that you can have shop bills broken up. But um, I just got by far my biggest shop bill um, and wanted to touch on how it works. Uh, how it works when you um, have expenses as far as shop, uh, having your truck in the shop, how it works um, if there's something, and, and one of the, the largest expense that I just had was tires. And I wanted to touch on how tire tires work, um, how Prime sets aside money for tires. Um, and then if you do have a large shop bill, how that gets taken care of, um, where it would be almost equal to a week's paycheck, um, do you want that taken out all at once? So let's start with tires. I just replaced all six tires. I've got nearly 200,000 miles on this truck and replaced two steer tires and all four drive tires. Now. Uh, Prime has their own tire shop uh, in Springfield. They do uh, all the retreads for all the trailers at the uh, company. Prime uses almost exclusively re retreads on tires unless you have an issue on the road and you go through an independent company, whether that be a, a pilot or not a pilot, a, a TA or a Petro um, or some smaller shop. Um, that you'll probably have to purchase a new tire that way, but um, they're gonna have you bring the tire back because they want that casing and In many cases prime is going to turn that tire into uh, a retread And that's what they'll do with my old drive tires is they'll turn those into retreads They also took the old steer tires because we still have a handful of um, trucks that have duels that can be turned into retreads for the trailers and you can legally run retreads on the drive tires uh, as well. So um, Prime will give you a, a credit for that. So tires, let's start with that. You have a tire fund, and I know it's in that um, How Leasing Works video, and I'm gonna throw a link to that in the description. Prime will set aside two and a half cents for every dispatched mile um, that you run. Um, and that is dispatched miles. That's a, a key term that you need to know, and it's different from actual miles or practical miles or map miles or however other you hear it termed. Dispatched miles is how far does Prime say or does your company say that this trip is? Um, and as an example, it's almost always going to be less than the actual number of miles that you run. Uh, the trip that I'm doing today, it's a shorter trip. It's 129 miles according to my GPS to run this, this trip. Uh, it's listed at 115 dispatched miles. And one of the reasons for that is Prime typically will take the center of Decatur, Indiana, which is usually where the post office is, to the center of Caledonia, Ohio, which is where I'm, I'm delivering, and post office to post office or center of, of the postal code to center of the postal code is going to be that 115 mile um, distance. So there's an additional 14 miles that I have to drive. Now as a company driver, you do not get compensated for the additional miles that if you call your dispatcher and say, hey, I, I drove an additional 14 miles to get here. My dispatch says it's only 115 miles. It's actually 129. Too bad. That's just the way it is. As far as the tire fund is concerned, two and a half cents of 115 miles is what's going to go into that fund. Bottom line is um, that tire fund is there exclusively for tire purchases. Over the course of me driving, I have replaced two tires. Um, my left front steer tire, 
uh, had a bad shock, had a shock that went out. Um, it of course went out just after uh, the warranty, which is 100,000 miles. Um, but because the shock was damaged, uh, the tire was bouncing, it had some wear uh, on the tire, needed that replaced. Uh, was able to purchase a used tire, which was nice, saved me some money there. But that tire purchase of a used tire was taken out of my tire fund, and I had a puncture of my right rear drive tire and uh, purchased a new tire there. And that purchase also came out of my tire fund. Now, all that said, I still had $3,600, give or take, in my tire fund. Um, did these at a separate time. Did this last week. This is my steer tires. $716.17 for two steer tires. That includes $110 of prime purchasing at $55 each. My two steer tires back for casing credit. That includes installation, balance, the whole deal. I ordered a different brand of tires because I'd gotten a review from, I uh, bought some Yokohama tires uh, over the Michelins that came on this truck. A um, couple of over the road drivers I talked with uh, really like these Yokohamas, so I'm giving them a shot. Um, they're also less expensive, but the drive tires on this truck are still $683 each. Um, so. For four tires, it's still $2,733.28. Still cost 200 bucks to install them. So you're still at you know $2,900 plus, um, plus some, some shop pricing. I did get credit at $70 a piece for having them brought uh, bought back by Prime. But that $3,600 is now gone. I just kind of have to hope that I don't puncture a tire uh, until I get some money built back up into that fund. But that's how Prime ensures that you do have money when you need to purchase tires. Now, if I had gone with the more expensive Michelin tires and there wasn't enough money in my tire fund, um, I would be billed for the additional funds. And that would be similar to my other purchase from the shop, which is just shy of $1,000. And that is to have the brakes done. I needed uh, new brake pads, and I needed uh, uh, new brake shoes, and I also needed uh, drums for my four uh, dry brakes. Just shy of a thousand dollars there. It was four hundred and twenty dollars in labor, about two hundred bucks for the shoes. Brake shoes actually on internationals are really inexpensive. They're uh, less than fifty bucks a piece. Uh, the drums were seventy-five bucks a piece. So you can do the math there and, and get an estimate about how much that is. But there is, unless you decide to have an emergency fund, there is no mechanism built in for X number of miles. You're going to put this amount in. You can do that if you want. You can say to Prime, hey, I want to also put two cents a mile into an emergency fund, or I want to put $100 a week into an emergency fund. And then if I have repair bills, take the money out of my emergency fund first. I mentioned in that video, I do not have an emergency fund because two reasons. I can put money aside myself, which I do. I have an, a savings account, which generates interest. And the second reason is Prime is more than willing to break up. And I've talked about this, and this is the next part of the video. Prime will break up bills um, that you incur. Uh, whether it be a shop bill um, or other things that might come up. Um, if you get uh, something purchased through the Prime Store, you can have things broken up. Um, if you purchase parts, if you purchase you know, things like that, they can get broken up by Prime and put onto your settlement. And that doesn't automatically happen. You have to make sure you have a discussion with your fleet manager. Sometimes you have to talk to the person in payroll. Um, but they will break it up however you want. Um, I could have a $1,000 bill broken down into two payments of $500. And I'm just giving it around about 1000 I know it's it's less than that. Um, 
I could break it up into three payments. I could break it up into four payments of 250 bucks. I could break it up into five payments. I could break it up into 10 payments of 100 bucks. You could even go as far as 20 payments at 50 bucks a piece. It's all a matter of how long do you want it to take. There is no interest. Prime is not really... They want you, and I've said this before, they want you to succeed. And if a shop bill is going to put you negative or wipe you out, um, that's, that's not what they're there for. They will work with you. Um, I've never had a problem... Uh, you know, I would guess if you are in the shop regularly uh, and or if you decide to um, break up payments regularly and it's it's an issue, then that might be a, one of those where they talk about, hey, maybe we should talk about a different truck. But for me, I'm going to have this broken down into payments and tires are taken care of. But uh, $4,300 worth of tires and brakes. Happy birthday to me. It is my birthday today, um, so always fun to get a bill like that, but uh, I, that's that's part of leasing. Um, and this is another one of those things to consider when you're thinking about leasing versus company. Um, if you're a company driver and you brought the truck in and the truck had the tires uh, that, were, and I knew I needed tires, I knew I needed brakes. I wasn't 100% sure, brought it into the shop, they said, yep, you could you're right on the limit there on the tires. Um, the brakes, they could stand to be replaced. And if you were a company driver, they would just replace them and you would not be billed. Um, as a lease operator, that $4,300 is your responsibility. So you have to keep that in mind that that $4,300, you know, you can look at it as, well, geez, it's money that I could have been earning but at the same time, by taking that on as, as your responsibility, that's why you're earning additional revenue um, for each load as a promise that I'm going to take care of these things when they come up and when they need to be repaired on the truck. Instead of having Prime do that for you, well, with Prime doing it for you, they're saying, well, since we're taking care of this and we're responsible for all this, um, you're not going to get paid as much because we're taking on that particular responsibility. So that's part of that decision to weigh whether you want to be a company driver versus a lease driver. So got into a little bit more there than, than I necessarily had intended, but I uh, wanted to talk about shop bills, talk a little bit about the tire fund. Hope you found this informative. Um, thanks for watching. Again, uh, click on that link in the description. Um, have the uh, lease video, how leasing works video. Uh, where I'll go over a settlement. If you haven't watched that one before, there's a ton of great information in there. And then uh, link in the description for if you want to come to Prime. It'll take you directly to the application. Thanks for watching, and we'll talk to you again next week.